Now with many NFL players signing some of the biggest contracts in sports, it's only right that their lifestyle and stupidly expensive purchases match that. Now with Odell Beckham Jr. being a face of the NFL, recently being dealt to the Browns this summer, and signing a 5 year deal worth $95 million, it's only right that off the field his lifestyle is just as ridiculous. After being traded to Cleveland during the offseason, OBJ decided this was actually the right step in his career, and he celebrated this purchasing a car like never seen before. It happened to be a custom Cleveland Browns themed Rolls Royce for $500,000. Now Odell teamed up with DreamWorks Motorsports to create this custom dream car, then instead of the original logo on the hood, it actually has a replica of himself making the legendary one-handed catch that he's famously known for. OBJ ended up posting a video on Instagram of it raising from the hood, and he said, Picture me on the front of the roof like this, appreciate you family. Custom painted black ramps and orange wrap around the car, blacked out tinted windows, and of course a ridiculous sound system. With Odell revealing this car on social media, it quickly went viral with people like Quavo, 50 Cent, Lil Yachty, Kevin Durant, and Kyle Kuzma quickly taking notice of this masterpiece. Now it's definitely no doubt that over the last few seasons, Le'Veon Bell has become a trending topic around the NFL both for his play and controversies of holding out due to him not getting the contracts that he felt he deserved. But nevertheless, a lot of people criticized him for purposely losing out on a lot of money, but he's shown it's not hurting him one bit. Around the holiday season of 2017, Le'Veon went all out for the teammates who were protecting him on the Steelers. Shortly after John Wall himself in the NBA cashed out on buying his entire team Rolexes for Christmas, Le'Veon did a similar deed gifting his entire offensive line Hublot watches, in which he tweeted out a video of them unwrapping the presents caption, it's an early Christmas for the big guys. Love y'all boys, shout out to my guy Mo Diamonds for the help of making it all happen. Hashtag O-Line Hublot. And in the clip you could hear him say y'all deserve it man. But this right here was just the beginning as over the years, Le'Veon has constantly been showing off ridiculous diamond chains, watches, and accessories that he spent millions of dollars on. And it was actually reported that earlier in the year he was robbed of over half a million dollars in jewelry at one time. Le'Veon ended up explaining the situation saying, well, I had two girls in my house and I got up and I did my normal routine to go work out. So I left the workout for a couple hours and when I came back, they took my money, they took my watch, my jewelry, a couple more of my things of value out of my house. And when he was asked how much that was stolen was worth, he said, oh, like a million dollars. Now most would definitely cut down on spending after something like this occurring, but according to TMZ, Le'Veon actually decided to just go on a shopping spree right after to replace the possessions that he lost, and he spent over $300,000 on new pieces, and this included many gold and diamond rings, earrings, chains with custom pendants, bracelets, and even a Rolex. Now Tom Brady who is undeniably in the NFL's GOAT conversation has made nearly $235 million in his entire football career, and combined with his wife Giselle's career earnings, they're expected to be worth a billion dollars by the time she retires. Now with that being said, you know they're living lavish, and in 2015, Brady purchased land for $4.5 million and paid nearly $35 million to build their new mansion, which includes 5 bedrooms, 7 bathrooms, and is on a total of 5 acres of land located in a suburb of Boston called Brookline, Massachusetts. Some of the luxuries this home includes is a wine room a full yoga and workout center, a spa, and of course a huge pool in the back. Besides the fact the long stone driveway holds 20 cars, the mansion also sits adjacent to the Country Club, a historic Brookline Country Club and award winning golf course. Now with both Baker Mayfield and Saquon Barkley making names for themselves, especially over the last year becoming some of the league's most popular players, they actually placed a bet during their rookie years to compete for the Offensive Rookie of the Year award at the end of the season, and the winner would actually get to receive a diamond chain from the loser. Saquon actually talked about this beforehand, and he said, We've got a little bet. Hopefully I'll win that bet. But I can't say anything bad about him. I respect him as a player and as a person. But it's for a chain. The loser's gotta get someone else a chain. We get to pick the chain, and we get to have fun with it, because obviously everyone's talking about who's gonna win, and at the end of the day, we'd love to see each other win. We'd also love to see ourselves win too, but we made a little bet with it just to show how friendly we are, that it's bigger than just the award. Now through an impressive rookie campaign, Saquon Barkley eventually won the award and the bet, in which Baker did hold up on his end and gifted a custom diamond piece to him during the summer. And Saquon even tweeted a pic of Baker holding the custom quads piece with the caption shout out to Baker Mayfield for coming through with the bet. Hashtag quads. Now it's no doubt that Drew Brees has made waves in the NFL helping lead the Saints to multiple consecutive playoff firsts, even a Super Bowl win shortly after Hurricane Katrina struck Louisiana. But Brees has continued to have a strong connection to where he played college football at Purdue and gives back to the city and school as much as he can. He even recently purchased a jersey he wanted to donate to the school for rich history. Legendary Purdue basketball player John Wooden is known as the best player to play in Purdue's Mackey Arena, and recently Drew Brees bet in an auction for the 1930 game-worn jersey which is a one-of-one, one, and he won the auction for $264,000. 
Now afterwards, Breeze talked about this and said, the jersey will reside in the halls of Mackey Arena forever. Breeze learned that the jersey was available from a friend from Purdue's athletic department and shortly after even said, the first words out of my mouth to him upon finding out the John Wooden jersey would be made available to the public was, we have to get this for Purdue University. This jersey belongs in Mackey Arena back at Purdue. Now this happens to be one of the rarest jerseys in history and the university expressed how beyond thankful they were to have this masterpiece in their collection forever. But Drew Brees himself is known in the community as someone who's continued to contribute to them, donating roughly millions of dollars to the university over his entire career. Now with Russell Wilson leading the Seahawks to a Super Bowl win just one year after being drafted and now signing the biggest contract in NFL history, it's no surprise that Wilson doesn't mind helping out those who helped him get to this point. But Wilson recently signed a contract extension worth $140 million over the next four years with $107 million guaranteed. And right after signing this massive new deal, Wilson wanted to reward the guys in front of him, whose jobs are to do nothing but protect him, by gifting them over $156,000 in total Amazon stock, which came out to be about $12,000 a piece for all 13 linemen. After gifting his teammates, Russell Wilson said, you sacrifice your physical and mental well-being to protect me which in turn allows me to provide care for my family. Now it's my turn to return the favor. Many people may think that $156,000 is nothing to the highest paid player in the NFL, but in the past 10 years, Amazon stock has had a return of 2,200%, which means if that trend continues, the $12,000 per player will turn into $270,000 in just a decade. Now with Aaron Rodgers often referred to as one of the best quarterbacks ever in the NFL, he's also been spotted representing his state's Milwaukee Bucks of the NBA in any way possible. And with that being said, recently while talking to the Bucks co-owner about owning part of the team, an agreement was reached in which Rodgers acquired 1% of the ownership, and Rodgers actually spoke about this decision saying, I just wanted to be involved, first of all because I love basketball, and second because I've been here for so long I wanted, besides my Packer connection, just another natural connection to the state that I love and that I've grown up in. So when the opportunity was there I wanted it to happen right away. It didn't happen for a few years, and a few different representations, and then it turned out it just took a call to Bucks president, and we made it happen. Now Rodgers didn't disclose how much he paid, but the majority owners paid 550 million, so 1% of that would equal 5.5 million, but Rodgers doesn't care about the money. He talked about this and said, the money part didn't really matter to me, because from a pure business standpoint, the NBA is doing great, ratings are doing great, the league is growing, so from a pure business standpoint, I think it's a great investment, I always did. But to me, the bigger draw was the tie to the region and just a strong love for basketball. Now with Antonio Brown recently signing a deal making $17 million per season, he recently explained in an ESPN interview that if people don't play by his rules, he has no problem walking away from the game since he's made more than enough money both on and off the field so far. But recently during Antonio Brown's holdout with the Steelers, he also requested a trade and during that time was seen spending plenty of money in a jewelry store with a total of 500000 spent on just 5 pieces. Antonio Brown bought a Richard Milley watch that cost 190000 two goat rings that were $20,000 a piece, five carat diamond earrings worth $50,000 a pair, and last but not least a diamond Cuban link chain worth $220,000. But all of that wasn't enough. After officially making Oakland his new home once he joined the Raiders, Antonio Brown decided to spend another chunk of money on yet another chain. This time it costed $250,000 just for the one. This chain was customized and made specifically for Brown, which was a hornet with huge butterfly wings and his jersey number right on the front. Now AB's been known for saying float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, which this piece specifically represents and according to TMZ, it's a combo of pear and baguette shaped VVS and brilliant cut diamonds, totaling 65 carats on the Cuban chain and 50 carats on the pennant. Now subscribe to stay up to date with the NFL 100%.